Behavioural interviewing is based on the fact that past behaviour is often a good indicator of what future behaviour will be in a particular situation. Key to finding out how someone will react in a particular situation is getting them to give specific examples on how they have behaved in the past. The more recent or long-standing behaviour will give you the best indication of how someone will act in the future. In an interview, questions are often answered in the STAR framework, but what does that mean? ST stands for situation or task. Ask the candidate what the specific situation was and get them to give a lot of detail around this. This is understanding the why. Next, we have A for action. The candidate needs to describe the specific actions they took. This is a key component of behavioural interviewing. This is explaining the how and the what. R stands for result. This tells us how effective their behaviours were. This is the effect of the action. It is really important to cover the full star. Sometimes candidates will give you a partial answer. This interviewing technique really only works if the candidate gives you a lot of detail around these three indicators. With the star interviewing technique, you will get a better answer if you ask open-ended questions. These sorts of questions are, tell me about a time when, or can you walk me through? Some candidates are not very experienced in STAR interviewing. You may need to use further probing or clarification questions to get the full STAR. Don't be tempted to jump in and answer the question for the candidate to avoid awkwardness. You must sit in silence and wait for the candidate to form their answer. Some good probing questions include, what was the result? How did you react to that? And what did you do as a part of that specific project? Just as important is ensuring the star isn't false. Candidates can often talk in team situations. For example, we did this or we did that. They really need to specify their individual input using terms like I did or this was the result from what I did. Make sure you ask them what their specific action was in that activity. This will draw out more details. They should also avoid giving theoretical statements such as I would or I could, but giving actual examples about what they did in that situation. A couple of other traps include giving generalised statements such as generally, typically or usually, or it is common knowledge. Same with opinions, statements such as I believe I would be able to need further questioning. Structured behavioural interviews are a very good way of determining the best candidate for a specific role. Be sure that you frame your questions as behavioural questions and write down the STAR acronym as a prompt. In the end, you'll be in a much better position to be sure the candidate is suited and is the best candidate for this role.